Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Steph. Welcome back to my channel, The Secrets Love, where we are learning everything to do with habits, daily routines, and generally just making our lives a little bit easier. So today I'm gonna to rewind it all the way back to the very beginning, and we're gonna talk about the basics of the Fly Lady system. So if you're new to my channel, this is the system that I used to take my life from complete mess, secret slob, into being a little bit more organized, having systems, routines, and generally making my life a lot more peaceful. If you've already heard of the Fly Lady system and maybe you've gone to the website, chances are you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed or a lot bit overwhelmed. That is totally fair and completely understandable. There are so many words and terms and kind of different systems meshed into one that it can just feel like, ah, where do I start? What does this mean? How do I even do this? And if you're already overwhelmed, that's not fun at all. So today I'm gonna to walk through this entire system step by step, breaking down every single point and making it super easy for you to understand and hopefully get started. I like to break the Fly Lady system into three main components. Number one, daily routines. That's things that you're gonna repeat every single day, day in, day out. The second component is the daily focus. This is a different task for every day of the week that you then repeat weekly. The third component is zone cleaning. And this is a monthly repeating task where you're cleaning different areas of your house one week at a time. So to sum that up, the three components are daily repeating routines, weekly repeating daily focus, and monthly repeating zone cleaning. You with me? Good. All right, so let's start with component number one, the routines. This is where I recommend everyone get started because having daily habits and routines in place set up a perfect foundation to build an organized life, an organized house, and keep things generally clean. If you're short on time or energy, this is where you're gonna focus the majority of your time. It's the biggest bang for your buck. The Fly Lady system breaks the routines into two sections, morning and evening. And every day we're repeating the exact same tasks. The morning tasks in the Fly Lady system are getting dressed to shoes, making the bed, emptying the dishwasher, doing a quick swish and swipe of a bathroom, which is just wiping down one of your bathrooms really quickly, starting a load of laundry, and checking your calendar. The habits in the evening routine are laying out your clothes for tomorrow, prepping for tomorrow, setting out anything you need at the door, finding your keys, clearing your hot spot, which is an area that just collects clutter in your house. For me, it's a desk that we have. Clearing your hot spot for two minutes, shining up your sink, your kitchen sink, and starting your dishwasher. I wanna make an aside and really emphasize that your life is not the same as anyone else's and your habits and tasks may need to be swapped around to fit your life or maybe taken out completely or maybe you need to add something else in that you know hasn't really been covered. It's so important to customize any system to fit your life because it's your life you're organizing. So that's the first component, routines. Moving on to the second component, daily focuses. And this is the first place where people start to get a little bit tripped up because routines, daily routines, that makes sense. The daily focus though is super simple. Again, it repeats weekly. Each day takes care of one section of your life so you're not having to think about it all the time. So the daily focuses are as follows. Monday is weekly home blessing. A lot of people call it weekly reset or weekly refresh too, and you can call it whatever you want. On this day, we're doing six tasks, vacuum, mop, dust, change the sheets, empty the garbages, and polish all the mirrors and doors, 10 minutes each task for a total of one hour in the main traffic areas of your house. So for me, that would be hallways, kitchen, dining room, living rooms, that kind of thing. Not getting into any corners, not doing any super deep cleaning, just quickly covering the main traffic areas of your house. One hour and stop. I'll link to a video about weekly home blessing up here. Day number two is plan and play day. So she calls this kind of your home administration day where you're going to pay bills, answer emails, respond to invitations, maybe send invitations, write cards, letters, all that kind of home office stuff. And then the play component is making plans with friends or family or setting up different events. Again, just basically a whole home administration day. I love this one because I often will feel like I have all this stuff to do in terms of home administration. So if I just dedicate 15 minutes on Tuesday, sit down, get it all done. I know my bills are paid. I know I've responded to emails. I know that stuff is just all taken care of. 
Wednesday is anti-procrastination day and this one is actually my all-time favorite. So on anti-procrastination day, you're going to pick one task that you've been just procrastinating and get it done. This can be something as simple as making a phone call, booking an appointment, sending a card, returning a package. It does not have to take a long time, but it does have to take that one little thing off your shoulders that you've just been oh, dreading doing. Thursday in Fly Lady Land is errands day. This is the day when you can stack all of your errands and run around and get everything done all at once. You're not having to leave your house a bunch and go into town a whole bunch of times. Everything you need to get done is in that one block of time. Friday is car and bag day. This is another cleaning one where you're going to take your purse or your backpack or your diaper bag and just quickly go through it, get rid of any garbage, receipts, file things you need to file, give it a little bit of a clean out, and then go into your car and do the same thing. We're not cleaning our car or detailing it by any means, just pulling that garbage out, maybe extra jackets. I have little kids, so my car turns into a disaster every single week. And it just helps you keep on top of those two things, car and bag, where clutter tends to accumulate. And if you let it get out of control, it can get really frustrating. Saturday is family fun day. It's all about focusing on your family or your friends or maybe yourself getting out and doing something fun together. And usually it's something that you've planned for on Tuesday, plan and play day. And then the last day of the week, Sunday is renew your spirit day. And it's meant to be a day of self care, kind of loving kindness where you just take a break, rest, relax and recharge for the week ahead. So those are the daily focuses. There's seven of them. And if you've been at my channel before, you know that I've switched things around. I've changed the names of things to suit my life. And I completely and fully encourage you to do the same. There is no wrong way to set up your own cleaning system. This is just a really good starting point, a really good place for jumping off. Last component. Component number three, zone cleaning. And this is the one I get the most questions about of all, but once you master it, it will change your whole life. So zone cleaning is where we get into that detailed cleaning of our house. Remember on Mondays, the daily focus is weekly home blessing and we talk about doing the main traffic areas. We're not getting into corners. We're not doing any nitpicking cleaning, but zone cleaning, that's where we do that. So how zone cleaning works is we're gonna divide our house into five sections. The Fly Lady system has pre-prescribed sections that you can divide your home into and then also a detailed cleaning list for each one. I can link to her detailed cleaning list below, but I encourage you to divide your house up in a way that works best for you. So I've changed mine a little bit and I'll link to my detailed cleaning list below. But basically what you're gonna do is each week you're going to focus on cleaning in one zone. So for example, zone number two is the kitchen. That's the same for Fly Lady and for me. Zone two is the kitchen. So I have a detailed cleaning list that lists everything I need to get cleaned in the kitchen at any point. So cleaning out my fridge, my freezer, cleaning the cabinet fronts, all that stuff that just, you know, needs to get cleaned every once in a while every month hopefully and I'll just work as much as I can in that week in that zone. I usually max out at about an hour and that's important because you're not always going to get the whole list done every week. You get as much done as you can in whatever time increments that work for you and then when zone two comes around the next month because you rotate you start again where you left off. It does take a bit of time to get going with zone cleaning, especially if you haven't given your house a really good deep clean in a while, but eventually as you clean it more regularly, it becomes easier, you get faster, and you don't really have to think about it anymore. In Fly Lady System, she does the first week of the month, we do zone one. Second week of the month, zone two. Third week of the month, zone three, et cetera, et cetera. It does get confusing though when the month is only four weeks long or there's a half a week at the beginning and a half a week at the end. And she does do a little bit of shuffling with zone one and zone five. So if you are gonna follow her zone cleaning system, it's easiest just to check on the website to see what zone they're in. I changed it up a little bit to make it simple and I just do zone looping. So any given week I do zone one, the next week two, three, four, five, I dedicate an entire week to each zone. And then when I finish zone five, the next week is zone one. So it doesn't line up with the weeks of the month, but it's a lot less confusing for me. So you can choose to do it however you like. A lot of people really like following along with the website. And then a lot of people just like to kind of have a less confusing system that works for them. Okay, so those are the three main components of the Fly Lady system. If you work and establish these systems and routines into your life, your house is gonna do a complete 180 and look fantastic. 
I did say I was gonna go through the entire system, so there are a couple other things I wanted to mention. They're kind of like little bonus things. The first one is daily missions. These are detailed cleaning tasks in the zone that we're currently working in, and I think they're just a way to kind of motivate you to clean something you may not have thought of. So if you're in the zone with bathroom, she might say, you know, clean behind the toilet tank or go through your makeup case and clean it all out. Just all different detailed cleaning things. It doesn't really replace zone cleaning so much as just gives you a little bit of motivation to get one small task done. And I mean, if you did the daily missions every single day, your house would be super clean, but I do think it's a lot to add zone cleaning plus the daily mission together. So if I was just starting out again, I would just choose one or the other. I prefer zone cleaning, but again, the daily mission is short and sweet and it's just kind of fun. It feels like you're you know, getting something done. Another thing you may have seen in the Fly Lady system is what's for dinner. And basically this is so simple. It's just a question that you're supposed to ask yourself sometime in the morning about what you're gonna have for dinner later in the day. So if you create a meal plan, this is probably super easy, but if you don't have anything kind of ready, this is a good time to pull out meat from the freezer or check that you have the right ingredients or you know come up with something at all, just so that when you get to that 4.30, 4.45, 5 o'clock time and it's time to start making dinner, you're not feeling panicked and rushed. So you've just kind of given it a little bit of forethought earlier in the day. A similar one to this is drinking your water every day and doing 15 minutes of what she calls loving movement exercise. And again, these are just little things to motivate you and remind you to take care of yourself. Don't have to include them in your daily routines if you don't want, but that's what they are. Something you might be wondering about is where does the decluttering fit in? If your house hasn't been tidied in a while or you're feeling really unorganized, chances are you might have a little bit of extra clutter around. I mean, even if your house is organized, you probably have extra clutter around. It's just, I don't know, a part of life. So the Fly Lady system does say to do 15 minutes of decluttering every single day. Um, that's totally something that you could work into your routines. I find that overwhelming. So for me, I usually like to set aside times when I declutter. So I won't do zone cleaning for a month and instead I'll do decluttering. So the week one, zone one, I'll just declutter in that zone instead of doing deep cleaning. I find this works better for me, but if you have 15 minutes every day and you wanna do a quick declutter, that's what the Fly Lady system does say to do. Last thing, and you know, this is another one I get a ton of questions about, the control journal. And I could make a whole separate video about the control journal because it really can be so helpful and just a really amazing tool. But the basics of it is it's just a place, usually a binder or a duotang or folder where you can keep all of your lists and kind of keep track of this whole system. So you can keep your daily routines that you check off every day. A lot of people keep them in plastic. You can keep your detailed cleaning list. Again, you could keep it in plastic. You can keep a map of your house with your zones. You keep your favorite recipes or some of your favorite meals, a to-do list, your budgeting stuff. The whole purpose of the control journal is just to have a place to keep all of your lists and keep yourself organized. When I first started this system, I did use a control journal, but eventually as I modified it and kind of simplified it for myself, I did come up with my own version, which is this weekly cleaning schedule. It's all on one page. So you can see I've got my routines, my daily focuses, zone cleaning, um, a little bit of a meal planning section, and then just reminders or kind of a to-do. I also usually end up writing all over the back and making a complete mess of it, but that's what it's meant for, is just a tool to stay organized and stay on track. So I don't really, well I do have a control journal where I keep some of my master lists, but I don't reference it every day anymore. Uh, I just use this one sheet, which is usually just on a clipboard or sometimes I hang it inside a cupboard and then it's right there. So if you wanna build a control journal, I say go for it. It's definitely a really helpful tool. If you wanna use my weekly cleaning schedule, it's completely free. Head over to my website and it's just under the printable tab. And yeah, it's there along with the ah, detailed cleaning list that I mentioned earlier. But I will link to the Fly Ladies detailed cleaning list below because that is the original system and that's what we're talking about today. So if you see something here that you think might work for you, I highly recommend getting started with the baby steps. So Fly Lady has an original 31 day baby step 
system, which you can follow along on the website, or I can actually also link to my friend Diane in Denmark's 31 Fly Lady Baby Steps Below. That's the ones I use to get started. And since then I've created my own 21 Days to a Clean Home Baby Step System, and there's a full printable package and everything you can go through. I'll link to that below. And what these all do is just walk you through the system, helping you build these habits step by step, day by day, so you're not trying to start the whole thing in one day. Trust me, that's a mistake. And you can kind of start to learn these habits slowly. Even over the course of 21 days, if you do it with me, or 31 days, if you do it with Diane, you will see a massive, massive change in your house. And I guarantee you will pick up at least one habit that you will keep for the rest of your life. For me, it was making the bed. <laughs> it is a complete game changer. So definitely go and check those out if you wanna get started today. Thank you so much for joining me for this step-by-step -step Fly Lady breakdown. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them, or if enough people ask the same question, I'll just make another video to answer that question. All right, have a wonderful day. I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.